Hello everyone! In today's video, we are going to learn how to use the Mac project to connect a MuleSoft application with Einstein AI. As we can see from here, we have our Einstein AI, which is connecting to the Einstein Trust layer and then connecting to any of the LLMs available from our Salesforce account. For example, OpenAI, Amazon Bedrock, or Azure OpenAI. So how this all starts is in our Salesforce organization, we have our apps. In App Manager, we already have set up a connected app right here. And here we can see the settings that we need. Make sure you have selected these OAuth scopes. In this case, API, Refresh Token, Offline Access, Chatbot API, and Salesforce API platform. For the callback URL, you can select login.salesforce.com. Plus, make sure to have these checkboxes enabled especially the client credentials flow and the JSON JWT token. Once you have your connected app, you can go ahead and click on Manage Consumer Details, which will open this new page. In this page, we can retrieve our credentials like the customer key and the customer secret. We can simply press here on Copy to copy both of them. If you need to regenerate your credentials, for example, like me that I am showing you my credentials right now, you can just click on generate to generate new ones and then click on apply to move them from the stage consumer details to the actual consumer details. Once you have that, you can go ahead and open or create a new Mule application. In my case, I already have this application. It's just a simple flow with an HTTP listener. And in this case, it is listening to the path Einstein. After that, you can set up the agent defined prompt template connector. And these are the settings that I have. First, you can see that we have three different things coming from the payload. We have a template, the instructions, and the data set. We also have our Einstein AI configuration here at the top. But take a look. If we scroll down here, we can see the model API name. And this is where all the LLMs that we have set up in Salesforce come in. So here we can see the full list. For example, OpenAI, Azure, Bedrock Anthropic, and so on. We have all the lists from here. So you can select any model that you want. And this is the one that is going to be used for your call. Now let's take a look at the configuration. If we click on this button, we can see a visual representation. And in this case, we have the connection is using OAuth client credentials. Then we have the client ID and client secret, which are the two credentials that we retrieved from Salesforce as a consumer key and consumer secret. Finally, for the token URL, we can also go to Salesforce in my domain and we can take a look at this current my domain URL. So copy this whole thing, go back to your MuleSoft, make sure you add HTTPS and then paste your whole domain, followed by forward slash services slash OS2 slash token. And that is it. That's all the configuration. Now, in this case, I'm already running this application. So as we can see from here, we have some things coming through and this is already deployed. So if we send one message, for example, we have this template. You are a customer satisfaction agent who analyzes customer feedback in the data set. Answer via JSON output and add a type for the result only with positive or negative as well as a complete answer. Now the instructions are, if the customer feedback in the data set is negative, open a service satisfaction case and apologize to the customer. If the customer feedback in the data set is positive, thank the customer and wish them a nice day. Do not repeat the feedback and be more direct starting the conversation with formal greetings. Now for the data set, which is the actual message that will come from the user, we have this example. The training was great. I would really recommend this to everyone. So let's take a look at this response. First of all, we can see that the JSON output is working and we can see the type positive and the result will be, thank you for your positive feedback. We are glad to hear that you enjoyed the training. Have a nice day. Now let's see what happens if we send exactly the same template and instructions just with a different data set. In this case, it says the training was awful, no information available and the instruction was unprepared. I'd never recommend it. So if we send this, we would receive once again at JSON payload, which is type negative. But the response now is dear valued customer, we sincerely apologize for the negative experience you had with our training session. 
We have opened a service satisfaction case to investigate this matter further and ensure it does not happen again. We appreciate your feedback and will take necessary steps to improve our services. Thank you for bringing this to our attention. So that is how you can make use of Einstein AI from your MuleSoft application. I hope this video was useful and I will see you in the next video.